adoption agency, and right. now you, oh, how many how many kids are going to be adopted with a disease? But then no, why do you go to that baby? Nobody's adopted. I feel close to that baby. That's what I do. You decide for yourself. You make that decision. You make that decision. You make decision for your child. You make you're a selfish one. Yeah, but it's still your decision to make. But you were saying. That you choose what selfish. school they go to, you choose what friends they make, you choose Absolutely, what they eat, that's but we all selfish decisions. Like, as soon as you have that thing inside of you, those are possible things that could happen. So, you know, definitely be ready for all those outcomes. You say you can't I'm work with it. I can't. Yeah. I personally cannot abort my child. Right. You wouldn't do it. Disease. Yeah, you wouldn't do it. Doesn't because mean the next person shouldn't. It. Abortion is very selfish, um, especially in circumstances where it wasn't a rape. You know what I'm saying? It, you just, you had your sex and now you have this baby and you want to have an abortion. I don't think that's, <laughs> I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. So now, so now you went, you did your thing and you have this baby and you want to abort that? Especially you no, so you think that's wrong. okay? Anytime someone has a child, it is not your child. It is the community's child. It is auntie's child. It is grandma's child. So whatever they decide, in fact, they in fact they would have more say on what happens to your child more than you. Just because you delivered the child into what don't mean it's your child. Um, but I think that because a lot of people, um, either they 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 have no connection to that style of culture, or they're just born here and far removed from it. They don't necessarily see that, so they get ingrained into the system here. That's standard where the mother has all the rights and. You know, which is great. I think it's a this is, it's a system that is good here. But I think that um, because I was brought up with that balance, where it's like, okay, yes, we live in a country where the mother has all the rights to their children. But I also come from a place. They come from a place where the the um, the absence, the understanding of a community being important is the reason why the family stays so tight knit and everybody's together. If my mother has a job as a nurse and she's working nights and she doesn't have all the time to tuck her kids in to bed, my grandmother was around to do that. And she was there in the morning to make breakfast for me before I went off to school, before my mom got back from work. Like that's, I grew up with that. And it was never, uh, oh, mom doesn't love me because there's nobody here to take care of me. No, like it's mom is getting the bread, you know, pops is at work, getting the bread, grandma's gonna take care, you know, take care of your emotional needs for now. An and then when mom is home, dad's home, everything's, you know, everybody's copacetic.